Welcome to John Coleman and I, two gold guys in the loge. I don't think we could make it up to the the, the place. That, well, I don't even remember what they call the thing up there. The, the balcony. <laughs> well, we can't make it to the balcony anymore. So we get a nice loge seat at uh, the Vintage Film Channel. And today we'll, we're, we're going to take you on an adventure with us. An adventure of Kit Carson. Yes. You know, I don't think, Art, you and I have had as much fun watching and researching these old shows on the Vintage Film Channel any more than we have with this one. Yeah, let me get, let me uh, get to it, by the way. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just started playing. Anyway, yeah. my favorite part of this was that in order to televise the, uh, the legend of Kit Carson, they made him some kind of a deputy sheriff or something, and he gave, they gave him a sidekick. Yeah. And, of course, this is 1951, 55, somewhere in there. The sidekick could not be an American guy. It had to be a Mexican. And the guy, the guy who plays his Mexican sidekick, I never understood his name, whatever they called him. It was never anything simple like Jose, whatever the guy's name was. He, he was a great Mexican sidekick. He, si, amigo. Yeah, it was great. Well, this guy turns out to be a, an actor of Russian heritage. Right. <laughs> his, name, his name was Don Diamond. Right. And you know, those were the days when, you know, black people, uh, black actors had to be servants in the movies. And Mexicans had to be played by white guys. And Indians had to be played by white guys. And Don Diamond was on, probably on the line. And they said, who wants to be a, a Mexican guy? He said, I, I'd be a Mexican. How much you pay? You know? Right. He was just looking for work. A character actor. Yeah. And, and he got, he got an typecast because we know that later on he played a similar kind of character in F Troop. <laughs> so he had a career he had a career as uh, playing uh, 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 foreign nationals when he was really an American born of Russian immigrants. Exactly. Exactly. In F Troop, and if anybody's ever seen F Troop, they'll remember it was Chief uh, Foreign Eagle or something like that, right. Chief uh, Wild Eagle. And he was the straight man. He was great. Right. He was great. And he was as believable as an Indian as he was uh, here as a Mexican. But it didn't matter. You know, it okay, didn't but, matter. But let's, let's, let's move on to the entree here. It's the main course. Because yeah. if you thought that was interesting and amazing, okay, you'll never know a certain thing about Kit Carson uh, played by a guy named uh, Bill William, I think he called himself, which is not his birth name. It was uh, Will Harold Cat. But yeah. he was married to Barbara Hale. Who's Barbara of, Hale? Of Par Perry Mason. Fan. Perry Mason. And they yeah. had they had three children, I think two girls and a boy. Yeah. They were married for a very long time until uh, his death, I think in 1990 or something like that. And their son... Okay, was uh, William Katz. Uh, now, William Cat. Cat was Cat. Bill Williams' real name, right? Never, original name. Yeah, it was, it probably and his was, son became an actor, right? Probably William Junior, right? Right. His son became an actor and took the father's original name, right? Cat. Which was William on his Cat. birth certificate, and by the time he became an actor, you didn't have to change your name anymore. Okay, right. That's true. Yeah, <laughs> to, get a, to get a stage name. But he, yeah. his father's name was actually, it wasn't William, it was Wilhelm. And it had a couple other names before it uh, from yeah. wh wherever he was. Uh, uh, well, you can look from. that up. Right. But my favorite thing is that William Cat, young, good looking, blonde headed, curly son guy. Of, headed. Son of Bill and Barbara Hale. Right. Was the great American hero. He had a wonderful series, uh, yeah. probably 30 years later, but. It was wonderful. William Cat, right. son of Bill Williams. I love that. And also, also, okay, he, uh, uh, the son, played the uh, successor to uh, Paul Drake, Private Eye, after he died in real life. And then they made a series of 10 Perry Mason movies. And for, I think, half of them, he was Paul Drake Jr. So That's the, great. So, so it was really... These are the kind of interesting fun facts that all derive from these wonderful, interesting films and uh, TV series that John and I get to uh, look yeah. at every week. Yeah. I, and you can as well. It's a free channel. You can just go up there, uh, uh, youtube.com forward slash something like uh, just look for uh, Vintage Film Channel. 
It's got its yep. own name up there. And uh, search for Kit Carson uh, and all these wonderful pieces that will. I I mean I remember Kit Carson, so I recognize even though I didn't know who Billy William was uh, as a name. Uh, I recognized him immediately, probably from that series. And he was in, uh, I, 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 uh, when we did the research, we found out that he originally turned out, he was off of the role for Sea Hunt that Lloyd Bridges took because he thought Don't it was a silly, it? Yeah. a silly premise and it would never last. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but act, the actors are known to, uh, many actors are known to have turned down amazing roles that somebody else sure. made, you know, uh, iconic. Uh, but he was in something else. Do you remember what else he was in? He was in another... Well, listen, Bill Williams had a long history, a wonderful career. Right. He was this might have been his best his best known appearance right. because it was a series it was on television every week for five or six years. But he was he appeared in every single show ever made in my mind um, during the 60s and 70s. Right. Let me just I'll read you just a few of them. He appeared in The Millionaire. You remember mm -hmm. that? Perry Mason. The Desilu Playhouse, Batman, Lassie, FBI, Ironside, Adam Twelve, The Rookies, Police Woman, and and numerous movies. Right. So he was very well known. I I knew the name instantly. Um, I was kind of surprised to find that he didn't really have too many series uh, starred in too many series yeah. like like uh, uh, Kit Carson. He was mostly a guest star. Right. So well, you know what? Probably he, a lot of yeah, fun. After he turned down Sea Hunt. He may, <laughs> he may not have been off for that many. But I remember Kid Carson. I, I enjoyed watching it as a kid uh, yeah. originally and uh, definitely recognized him. Uh, but the, the connections between he and Barbara Hale and uh, uh, that whole part of it. And, and, the, and for me, Don and Diamond, Don, yeah. Don Diamond, just uh, I love amazing. Don Diamond and, and, and uh, Chief uh, Wild Eagle. <laughs> From F Troop, I, this is just too much for me. Anyway, this, listen, the Kit Carson show is pretty good. It's a standard Western, you know, shoot 'em up, mm -hmm. ride this way, ride that way, chase down the bad guys, everybody wins, you know, right. that kind of thing. But um, it was the the background research that I loved on this one. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube. And tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.